your ways are true. From of old I have known of your decrees, for you are eternal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today is Thursday, December 10th, Thursday of the second week of Advent. Mass this morning is offered for the repose of the souls of Eleanor Dale and family. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to make ready the paths of your only begotten Son, that through his coming we may be found worthy to serve you with minds made pure. Through the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord your God, who grasp your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not, I will help you. Fear not, O worm Jacob, O maggot Israel. I will help you, says the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. I will make of you a threshing, a threshing sledge, sharp, new, and double-edged to thresh the mountains and crush them, to make the hills like chaff. When you winnow them, the wind shall carry them off, and the storm shall scatter them. But you shall rejoice in the Lord, and glory in the Holy One of Israel. The afflicted and the needy seek water in vain. Their tongues are parched with thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open up rivers on the bare heights and fountains in the broad valleys. I will turn the desert into marshland and the dry ground into springs of water. I will plant in the desert the cedar, acacia, myrtle, and olive. I will set the wasteland, I will set in the wasteland the cypress together with the plane tree and the pine that all may see and know, observe and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this. The Holy One of Israel has created it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Let them make known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Lord, be in your heart and on your lips. Amen. 
that we proclaim this gospel worthily and well. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Let the clouds rain down the just one, and the earth bring forth a Savior. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent are taking it by force. All the prophets and the law prophesied up to the time of John, and if you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah the one who is to come. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So this morning, Especially based on our first reading from the prophet Isaiah, I uh, would like to just, maybe we'd say, set some things into context for this Advent season, for these prophecies from the prophet Isaiah that we've been, we've been hearing from so often in recent days and will continue to throughout this season. Uh, and for that context, uh, and maybe you've had this image presented you before, uh, but to imagine uh, a, a river, uh, a river that is infinitely deep uh, and infinitely wide and with an infinitely rapid current. Uh, and on the one side is where we are, and on the other side is where we were created to be, uh, with God in heaven. And so between us and God, is this infinitely fast and deep and wide river that we cannot cross on our own. That's one image that we might have in mind. Another might be of, and this is one that the Lord Jesus uses, this insurmountable debt. And so probably at some point in your life you've incurred a late fee or a fine for some sort of violation. Uh, you know, you forget to bring your movie back to Blockbuster, it might be a buck and a quarter. Uh, you're going 70 on Laurel instead of 30, it's going to be a little bit more than that. Uh, but then there would be this, you can imagine, insurmountable debt, one that you cannot pay on your own. And that river or that, that debt might be what we call the gap of sin or the debt of sin. Right, the reality of what lies between us and the Lord because of sin. One of those we can't get there from here on our own sort of situations. Uh, and here I find also the, just the image of what I'd call an increasing hierarchy uh, that brings punishment maybe for our offenses. Uh, so you can imagine punching your buddy and not a whole lot happens after that. Uh, a little bit more happens if you punch your boss, a little bit more if you punch the governor, uh, and a little bit more if you punch the president or the queen. Right? There's going to be a greater consequence depending on how high up that hierarchy we get. And our offense against God is an offense against an infinitely perfect and blessed in himself being uh, carries an infinite consequence. So there's this uncrossable gap, this unsurmountable debt. And that's why Isaiah and the prophets speak so often about the Lord offering to come and do something for us. Right Today we hear in the prophet Isaiah that he will come 
and help you. Right? I will come and help you, says the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. And it's that word Redeemer here in Isaiah that's so important. To redeem is to buy back. To redeem is to purchase for a price. To redeem is to gain possession by way of payment. And so what the Lord God is offering through the prophet Isaiah here is to come and pay that price that we cannot pay on our own, to come and bridge that gap that we cannot cross on our own. And what we celebrate, what we prepare for in this Advent season is that God fulfills this prophecy in the person of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who is our Savior and Redeemer. Jesus Christ, who came to pay the payment, that debt of our sin. Jesus Christ, who came and paid his life for ours, who died so that we wouldn't have to eternally. I think it's important to keep this context in mind, especially as we get into these final days of Advent, and it's going to be over like that, with shopping and trying to figure out what Christmas looks like this year, and decorating the house and all of these other things that might be happening. We can lose sight of the fact that Jesus Christ came to us to pay a debt that we could not on our own. And so perhaps in the midst of all those other festivities, we can do just a little bit more contemplating just what it is the Christ child brings for us. Just what it is he will accomplish for us. And perhaps our hearts can be filled with more gratitude for the gift that he brings. Today, just an encouragement for us to remember what it is God has offered to us and to ask that we might be willing to receive it generously and joyfully that we will allow him to redeem us. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and all of the Church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, 
and open for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and Andrew, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of your resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Divine blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us live justly and devoutly in this age, as we await the blessed hope and the coming glory of our great God. O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So just a couple of notes this morning. One of them uh, is just another encouragement to, in the gathering space, take home some of the readings if you've not done so already. Uh, there's a fairly large packet, readings for the year of St. Joseph, some magisterial texts on St. Joseph and his role in the church. Uh, there's a supplement to that already, Pope Francis's brand new letter on St. Joseph, so that's out there. Uh, and additionally, my letter for the season of Advent uh, and about the celebration of Mass ad Orientum is out there. We encourage your reading of all three of those in the coming weeks. And then the second thing to say is that 
we will not be here on Tuesday morning. Uh, I had something come up that I cannot change uh, and need to be present for that. So we will not have mass and confessions on Tuesday. I'll do my best to announce that again tomorrow and on the weekend and hang a sign and include it in the email. Uh, and some of you will show up and I apologize. Uh, but we won't be here Tuesday. Okay. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Paul, pray for us. Praise be Jesus Christ.